Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we're making Hai Xian Meng Guo Seafood Simmer Pot. It's kind of like a hot pot that you can choose whatever ingredients that you want to cook, but it's not as watery. Instead, everything is cooked in a thick, flavorful sauce. Very interesting and delicious. Just like hot pot, you can pick whatever ingredients you like. These are things that I will use in this video. 8 to 10 cloves of garlic. Leave them whole because they're gonna be soft and flavorful at the end. 1 and a half inches of ginger. Slice them. Some carrot. Half of a medium sized onion. 1 sweet potato. You can use regular potato. I just have a sweet potato in hand today. It tastes even better. A few stalks of celery. The carrots are small, so you don't need to do anything. Slice the rest of the vegetables into the size of your small finger. I used one and a half pound of vegetables in total. You can pick different types of veggies or whatever you have in your fridge. Add everything to a big bowl, along with a drizzle of vegetable oil, some freshly ground black pepper, and a few shakes of paprika. Mix them well. We don't need any salt here because later on we will make a flavorful sauce. Set it aside. I also prepared some shrimps. Use scissors to clean up these messy shrimp legs. You can use peeled and deveined shrimp if you want. I'm just gonna devein it only. Chinese people like to keep the shrimp head and the shell on for presentation and we believe it gives the dish more flavor. These are baby octopuses. They are so small, so there is no need to cut them open and take out the inner organs. You just add 2 tablespoons of coarse sea salt, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, and 2-3 to three tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine. Rub them for about 5 minutes. The salt will act like sand and scrub off any mucus that is on the surface of the octopuses. The cornstarch and the cooking wine will help to remove the unpleasant smell. Once you see lots of foam appearing, you can rinse them with clean water. Do this several times to make sure all the salt is gone, otherwise it will be too salty. If you don't like seafood, you can use other types of protein, such as thinly sliced beef, pork, or tofu. Now we're gonna make the sauce, which is my creation based on one of my favorite Chinese restaurant chain that is called Huang Ji Huang. I used to go there very often. Now I live in USA. I can't visit it anymore, so I have to make it myself. In a sauce pot, adding one and a half tablespoon of vegetable oil, one and a half teaspoon of finely minced ginger, one tablespoon of minced garlic. Stir until fragrant, then adding 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 2 tablespoons of hoisin sauce, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 and a half tablespoons of shiracha, 2 tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine. Stir to mix. All these different sauces and seasonings, I will put the Amazon links in the description. You can check them out. Give it a taste to adjust the flavor. Mine is good. Then adding some dark soy sauce. It is for the color. A little bit goes a long way. Last, we will thicken it with some cornstarch water. Cornstarch will help all the flavors to attach to the vegetables and the seafoods. This is the texture that you are looking for. Set it aside. Add some cooking oil to the cast iron frying pan or a skillet. Stir the oil around so it covers the bottom, adding all the mixed vegetables along with half of the salsa. Save the other half for later. Stir to cooperate the flavor. Then we will add the shrimp meatballs and the fish meatballs because they take some time to cook through. They are frozen, that is how meatballs are sold in the store and it is okay to cook them without defrosting. Put on the lid, turn the heat to low, cook them for 6 to 8 minutes, depends on how soft you want your vegetables to be. 
You can try a piece to check the doneness. It should be a bit undercooked. Then you can place in all your shrimps and octopuses, adding the other half of the sauce. Quickly use a brush to spread it evenly. Turn the heat to high. Put on the lid again. Let them cook for a minute or two. Do not cook for longer than two minutes, or else the seafood will be overcooked. And you are done. Add a bunch of scallion for garnish. Look how tempting that is. We didn't add water to this pot, but it has lots of sauce at the bottom. That is where the flavor is concentrated. You just stir to cooperate the ingredients with the sauce. Everything in this pot is so tasty. The fish meatballs, the baby squid, even the sweet potato. It absorbed the lots of sauce. So savory. Peeling the shrimp is a little annoying, but I grew up with cooked shell on shrimps. Don't forget to dip a little sauce. It's so delicious. This dish is pretty easy to make. Just prepare some vegetables and proteins. Quickly make the sauce. The actual cooking process only takes ten minutes. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it goes. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.